And welcome back. The parade floats continue to roll by on Volunteer Boulevard. These are built by students at the University of Tennessee. I believe we're seeing uh, floats from the we are the Greek community. Many of the fraternities and sororities have teamed up to build these floats as part of a competition. I know this is Kappa Delta's float. A lot of these are very interactive and they all have to keep the theme charge Neeland. Charge, charge the checkerboard, checkerboard, excuse me, in honor of Neeland's 100th anniversary. So a lot of creativity and some of these floats are very interactive. Yeah, I like that one because it actually has Neeland in the checkerboard theme mm -hmm. going on there, which matches up well. Earlier we saw one of the first floats that came through had a smoky that ran down the gridiron which all the way across awesome. the field. So like like Beth was saying, they're very interactive and they're stopping right here in front of our cameras because this is where the judges booth is. It is, and the judges will score each float that goes by part of the homecoming competition. They score them on events all week long, and the winners will be announced in Neyland Stadium during halftime tomorrow at the Tennessee Ooh. Georgia game. Look at this. Oh my goodness gracious. All right, let me see. This is um, Phi Beta Phi and Phi Kappa Ta, I believe. Oh wow, look at the score on that one. Is 98. that 98? to nothing <laughs> wouldn't that be something charge the checkerboard very nice got two players running down the field and a lot of smokies i'm noticing that uh that theme <laughs> a lot of smokies on each of these floats and i mentioned the greek community with these floats there's about a dozen floats with the greek community but about a dozen others from students um, organizations on campus so very entertaining on this friday afternoon as folks enjoy the homecoming parade a tradition dating back to 1916.